Yeah, thank you. Thank you very much. Ah, I've got to find the page here. I should have page markers. I should be organized. You know what? I'm not. So I'm not going to. Um, okay, here we go. Yeah, one of the things we did, um, I thought was more really significant, I don't know, a lot of people probably remember this, but uh, there's a big thing uh, in Eastern Europe, in uh, Gdansk, Poland, where they pulled off a, a general strike and uh, that pretty well paralyzed the country and the, the communist government and ended up being like uh, uh, imposing martial law. And, uh, and then we had this guy, how many people here remember uh, Premier uh, Bill Bennett? Yeah, it's like he's the same as like a Gordon Campbell or like uh, uh, Van der Zam, right? But he had imposed these, uh, he got reelected, I guess, in like an 82. So he imposed these kind of draconian laws uh, that ripped up the labor laws with the government workers and stuff like that and uh, uh, cut off funding for like women's groups and, uh, and you know, just he basically wouldn't try and fuck with anybody who didn't vote for him, you know, so. And it formed this thing, uh, it was Operation Solidarity and uh, so, right, Operation Solidarity was the union side of it, you know, and uh, you know what? The, anybody's never been in a union, it's a great thing. It's one of the, reason, one of the reasons why we have so many rights uh, in this country, and, you know, but, you know, the, the guys at the top, the people with money, are always trying to abuse it to, and chip away at the rights of that, right? So, but that was Operation Solidarity, and then there was a coalition of uh, people that weren't unions, but, like, uh, people didn't have a lot, but were activists, and that was a Solidarity Coalition. But in uh, 1983, yeah, fall, I'm looking at Susan, get some cooperation here. <laughs> okay, she's from Marso, but she knows lots about politics, right? So, and uh, so then BC almost came to a general strike uh, that, that fall, right? And uh, so we'd see the thing that was happening uh, in Gdansk, Poland, this was happening here. So, very quickly, uh, it's kind of funny, our manager, Ken. Uh, Lester, um, who was like a real idea guy for us for about eight years, right? And then we had a, a falling out, but he had some great, great ideas. Um, he said, you know, you know, this thing happened with this general strike, it's gonna happen, it's gonna happen, man, it's gonna happen, you guys gotta get on it, right? You know, so like, he was kind of like the idea guy. He said, why don't you sit down and write a song? So Dave Gregg, uh, our old, old guitar player, myself, we sat there one afternoon, we banged out this song about like an hour. And um, within a week, we had recorded it, we had repressed it within another week. So it was this like benefit single, and there was like a, all these rallies. It was just a, a really significant thing that uh, uh, people in BC were mad enough, and the government had to, you know, they didn't back off on everything, but it was this people power thing that I always talk about that they backed off, right? And uh, the people power thing is one, I hear a really interesting lesson I just want to uh, relate to you once. Uh, it was in Prague, I think it was like. Uh, 92. So it was like three years after um, the Warsaw Pact fell and the, the eastern countries like Poland, the Czech Republic, Slovakia, and stuff like that um, stopped having a, you know, dictators for governments, right? They didn't necessarily get great governments after that, but they stopped having this particular form of dictators, right? And uh, so we had a day off around in Prague. And if anybody's ever been to Prague, it's one of, definitely one of the most beautiful cities that you'll ever see in the world, right? And, uh, yeah, so we're walking around, and uh, he says, I said, tell me about the revolution that happened in 89. He says, well, Joe, and the people were, like, really mad. The first day, 10,000 people showed up, and the government sent in more, uh, more soldiers, right? And they ran over somebody with a water cannon truck and killed one of the protesters. And he said, the second day, 20,000 people showed up. And he said, the third day, 30,000 people showed up in Wenzel Square, in the center of Prague. Fourth day, 40,000. But I guess before you thousand, all of a sudden the soldiers and the police were going like, they don't want to just kill the leaders, they're going to get us too type thing. So all of a sudden the soldiers and stuff like that started start coming over, right? Like you see this kind of effect that absolutely happened in North Africa, like in Libya, Tunisia and stuff like that, you know, to varying degrees, right? So, and so my friend Ebo in Prague, he said, uh, Joe, by the eighth day there was 80,000 and the, the people that had, uh, ruled us miserably for like 45 years since the end of the Second World War, they came out like, we give, we get, it only took eight days and like 80,000 people in the square, right, so, it's kind of that people power thing that can change the world, so, that's what this song's about.